up until the recent stable version just in time was opt in that means you had to just opt in into just in time by saying mode as jit but from tailwind 3 hey everyone welcome back and in this video we'll be discussing about tailwind 3 which has just been released in alpha preview what does alpha mean alpha means it's very early it's the first version of tailwind 3 and it's a breaking major change that is you have your major version upgraded inside the package so this means something good is coming with tailwind in this video i'm gonna discuss and implement tailwind 3 to give you a demo of how it is working today if you're new here make sure you leave a like subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon this is free of cost and helps the channel grow so if you go to this announcement section the link for which you can find in the description you can see the release notes of tailwind 3 alpha includes a lot of new things right most of them are some new classes and some renames of classes but there is one very interesting thing which you can see a couple of points just in time all the time and just in time cdn build now if you're not familiar with tailwind first of all i would recommend you check out my tailwind 2.0 hello world video on youtube which will be linked somewhere here but what you have to realize with tailwind is that inside tailwind 2 series what tailwind came up with is something known as just in time compilation and just like it sounds just like we have jet engines for javascript which when you're running more and more javascript it optimizes it's not that technical for tailwind it's just that it understands what sort of css classes you're using on the runtime and then only injects css for those classes now why this was necessary just in time was necessary because tailwind library was huge you can think of css as pretty much could have combinations of a lot of values and properties and stuff so the bundle size would be like gigantic and the browsers would just simply fail to load right especially on the development side and uh, you know you would have to purge all the styles and so on and so forth so just in time what it does like I said, it runs a smart JavaScript server which scans your code on every change and only injects the styles which are needed. Up until the recent stable version, just in time was opt in. That means you had to just opt in into just in time by saying mode as JIT. But from Tailwind 3, that's it. Just in time is the standard engine. There is no ahead of time engine present in Tailwind. That means you cannot just start off with a full huge tailwind css library it's just not supported anymore the second interesting thing with jit is a cdn build of jit now what this is is that you no longer have to like install the tailwind package and set up everything if you just want it to be present inside of a simple html document you can just throw in a script tag just like you would do with jquery for example and just start using tailwind like anything right let's take a look at how this jit compilation actually works you're gonna see this little snippet right here which is a simple html document and it loads a cdn tailwind css.worcel.app now like the author said it would be changed sometime soon with a more permanent url but for alpha i guess this would be the same and what this javascript is which is hosted it's just a simple jit engine for tailwind so how do we test this well we go to code damn playground inside of the html playground you can see this is just standard html stuff just reflects whatever you're writing i'm just gonna replace this document like this and yep now you have access to pretty much the tailwind jit so if you start writing for example bg gray 800 and you know something like and this should not be class name this should be class because we are in html and you can see it starts working just fine right you could see that we get the bg gray 800 i could have a text of gray 100 and you know you can just start playing around with tailwind css right here so you can have a bg i don't know like anything you can even start writing in jit mode right so you have one f one f one f i don't know what that hex value would be and again this should be class not class name and you can see it starts reflecting so it's super powerful stuff just throw in a script tag and start writing your css like you never really had to set up a an npm and node.js thing again for a quick introduction i would recommend watching the tailwind css crash course on codedam youtube channel again the video for that would be linked somewhere but other than that this is pretty cool because 
Now with JIT, like I said, you don't need to install NPM packages and so on if you want to just quickly prototype. But second of all, there are a few breaking changes as well. You can see there were some renames of properties. The purge has changed to content. Makes sense because version 3 gets rid of the ahead of time engine. There is nothing really to purge because it's actually looking into your content and creating. So it's it's a reverse thing right now. And it creates the style instead of trimming it down. Then there are some minor changes about a class name change, post CSS7, and the big ones is shit. Basically, the things done with shit. And again, this is because this is alpha release. There would be a lot of more changes which you can expect until this gets to, you know, the stable version. But this is looking good i mean we use tailwind a lot on code dam if you just visit code dam for example you're gonna see a lot of tailwind being used all the, at all the places right so yep this is exciting this is new and tailwind is pretty much in my opinion a great way for developers who are not very good with ui and ux just to lock in into certain constraints of padding and widths and font sizes and stuff like that so it is not liked by everyone i know that but for me i think it's a great start to any sort of small project where i just want to prototype and it not look very ugly right because i'm bad with ui and how things should look like so yeah that's pretty much it for tailwind css version 3 initial looks first looks what do you think about tailwind do you like it or not if yes have you used it in any of your projects let me know in the comments below that is all for this video if you like this video make sure you leave a like subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for daily updates that is all for this one i'm gonna see you in the next video really soon